So it asks us to find the inverse, right? Yeah. Inverse. If you guys remember, there's a couple of certain steps that we worked on finding the inverse. And it's very, very basic. Or, um, this one's a little bit difficult, and I'll try to explain the first part. But the main important thing is you just need to follow the steps to find the inverse. The first part is to interchange f of x with y. And that just helps us do our math. Um, remember that f of x and y both represent our output value. All right. So they're really not changing anything. It's just going to make it a little bit easier to do the math. Then the next thing is now we need to swap our x and our y's. So that x equals y plus 2 divided by y minus 4. All right? So now we have to solve for y. And I know it looks very difficult because we have two y's now, right? Well, let's just work on our operations that we know um, what we'd have to do. First thing, we need to get rid of anything that's on, a, on the bottom as a denominator because you can't solve for a number when it's on the denominator. So we have to get rid of our y minus 4. Well, the way that we get rid of our denominator is by multiplying, multiplying by what's on the denominator on both sides. Because now if I multiply this, that's going to cancel out. And I'll multiply by y minus 4 on the other side. Does it make sense? Okay, just like if it was a fraction, it was 4 on the bottom, you multiply by 4, right, to get rid of it. So now, what we're saying is those are going to cancel out. So I'm left with y minus 4, x equals y plus 2. So now we have a y on two different sides. So now our goal, whenever solving for a variable, is get that y on the same side. So before I do that, I see I have parentheses. I'm going to do a distributive property just to kind of rewrite this. And now I want to get the y's on the same side. I will choose to get the y's on the left side. So I'm going to get rid of this y on the right side by subtracting it. And let's see, I'll subtract the y over here. Then I'm going to actually going to get, put the 4x on the other side. So I'm going to do two different steps together. So we say that these cancel out to 0. And these cancel out to 0. So therefore, since these are not like terms, um, I obtain yx minus y equals 4x plus 2. Is everybody cool where I'm at? Yeah. Questions? Or want stop or explain stuff? I just did two different steps here at the same time. Um, so now, here it gets confusing. Well, how do you get these two y's to become 1? Well, what I can do is, since both of these terms share a y, I can factor out a y. So if you factor out a y, I get x minus 1 equals 4x plus 2. And then you guys can see, oh, now I only have my, y, my one y. So now I can divide by x minus 1. And therefore, I have y equals 4x plus 2 divided by x minus 1. Then the last thing is to rewrite it in function notation. So f inverse of x equals 4x plus 2 divided by x minus 1 where x cannot equal 1, because obviously that makes 0 on the bottom. It's like Yay! Yes, yes. Yeah, it was a 